Here are the top stories at this hour from the Sentinel. Lockdown last option to fight COVID, says Assam Health Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma. Assam Health Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma said announcing a lockdown now would hamper people's livelihood. Government would adopt other options to contain spread of coronavirus. Government has already started targeted surveillance. 50,000 tests to be done in 10 days to check the spread. Lockdown only if cases in Guwahati rises to levels like in Delhi or Mumbai, the health minister said. Prime Minister Modi rubbished all speculations about a lockdown. He asked all chief ministers to fight such rumours. Prime Minister Modi has asked states and union territories to get ready for Unlock 2.0. Universities should chalk out plan, says All Assam Students Union. Universities, in consultation with the government, should chalk out a plan to ensure that an academic year is not lost, ASU General Secretary Lurin Gogoi said. Under normal circumstances, final semester students of postgraduate and degree levels would be appearing for exams in June. We have not come across any coordinated plan. Lurinjuti Gugoy said. APSU calls for 12-day lockdown in Pasighat. All Arunachal Pradesh Students Union along with other organizations have called for a 12-day lockdown in Pasighat. The lockdown will start from June 19th till June 30th. The decision for lockdown was taken after two frontline workers tested positive. Lockdown has been announced to stem any possibility of community transmission, APSU Vice President Major Taku said. Arunachal MP seeks urgent steps to thwart any new China move. Arunachal Pradesh MP and BJP leader Tapir Gao has urged upon the centre to take urgent steps along the India-China border to thwart any evil design of Beijing. Arunachal Pradesh shares a 1,126-kilometer border with China. China cannot be trusted and could resort to its deceitful tactic any time, Gao said. Chinese soldiers with road-building machines crossed up to 200 meters into Upper Siang district in late December 2017, according to reports. Gao's comments comes in the backdrop of the India-China violent face-off in Eastern Ladakh that left 20 Indian brave men martyred. And finally, here's an update on the number of COVID cases across northeastern states. The number in Assam has now gone up to 4,694. 2,642 people have recovered. The number of cases in Tripura too has gone up. It now stands at 1,092. Manipur has 540 cases, Nagaland 181 positive cases, Mizoram has 121 positive cases, Arunachal Pradesh has 99 cases, Sikkim has 70 cases, Meghalaya the number has now gone down to 13 active cases. And with that, it's a wrap of this edition. Thank you.